Hi guys, welcome to Cooking with Claudia. Today I'm going to be making cheesecake. It's my favorite dessert to order whenever I go to the cheesecake factory. It's so good and it's not hard to make at all. You don't have to be a professional to know how to make this. So let's get started. I'm gonna start making the crust and I'm gonna be using some crushed graham cookies, melted butter, crushed almonds, sugar, and some cinnamon powder. In the crushed cookies, add the sugar, the crushed almonds, cinnamon powder, and the melted butter and mix this all together. The best pan to use for the cake is a springform pan. It has a little opening on the side that makes it easy to take out the cake. Now I'm gonna put the cookie mixture into the pan and spread it and kind of bring it about an inch up the sides. And I'm going to press this down so it gets really firm on the bottom. Now this is going to go into a 325 oven for about 10 minutes. And now I'm going to move on to make the butter. For the butter you're going to need some cream cheese eggs and some sour cream. Now before you start making your cake, you want to bring all these ingredients to room temperature to prevent your cake from getting any cracks. Okay, moving on. Also for the butter, you're going to need some sugar, some flour, some vanilla extract, and juice of a lemon. So now I'm going to start beating the cream cheese with a hand mixer. And you don't want to beat this too much because you don't want a lot of air in there. I'm going to add the sugar and continue beating nice and slow. I'm going to add the lemon juice and the vanilla extract and keep beating. Now I'm beating in the eggs and you have to do this one at a time. After the eggs are all beat up, I'm going to be adding the flour and keep mixing and the sour cream. This is going to give it a nice balance. Now the butter is all nice and smooth, it's looking very velvety rich. So the crust has finished baking, I just let it sit aside and cool a little bit. I'm just going to transfer the butter onto the crust. And spread the surface very evenly. Now I'm going to bake this in a 325 oven for an hour and I'll show you how it looks like after. The cake just came out of the oven, it's looking nice, it has no cracks, it's looking very perfect. I'm just going to let this sit and completely cool and I'll put it in the fridge overnight and I'll show you how it looks like in the morning. So it's the next morning and the cake is still looking great. I'm just going to take this out of the spring farm. The cake is looking good, it has no cracks, it's very firm and that's exactly what we want. Now I'm going to be making a very delicious sauce for the cake. In a hot pan, I'm just going to pour in some sugar, some strawberries and blueberries. And I'm going to kind of let this caramelize. And I'm going to give this a nice stir and pour in some grape juice to deglaze the pan. And I'm gonna let this simmer and thicken up a little bit. So the sauce is all thickened up and it has developed the perfect color. It's time to serve out this cake and I'm just gonna pour on this some of the sauce, try to make it look nice.
thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed spending time with me and I hope you try this easy recipe. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Bye bye.